Friday night, date night in Miami. Every night is date night in Miami, and everyone's having sex. But for me, sex never enters into it. I don't understand sex. Not that I have anything against women, and I certainly have an appropriate sensibility about men, but when it comes to the actual act of sex, it's always just seems so undignified. But I have to play the game. And after years of trying to look normal, I think I met the right woman for me. Deb saved her life on a domestic dispute call, introduced us, and we've been dating for six months now. She's perfect because Rita is, in her own way, as damaged as me. I'm running late. I'll just be a sec. I have to change. Okie doke. Hey, Dexter. May I say that you look lovely this evening? Okay. Master Cody. Handsome as ever. High five. I wonder in time if they'll even remember me, other than the man who broke their mother's heart. I'll be breaking their hearts too. You know, he is their father. They have a right to know he's been released, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, even if I tell Paul not to come, he'll show up here eventually. I know him. Everything's been going so good at work. With you. I don't know what to do. He's really got a hold on you, doesn't he? Yeah. Paul always had a temper, but when he was using... He said if I left, he would find us and hurt the kids. Somehow, I thought that by staying, I was protecting them. Cody doesn't remember the worst of it, but Master, she was the one who called the police the last time. She was protecting me. You're not that woman anymore. You're stronger than that now. If their dad shows up, we'll deal with it together. Dad's coming home? Hey, Rita, doesn't have to be this way. I mean, we can make this easier on each other, right? I could drop the charges if you agree to unsupervised visitation. Fuck you. Hey, Dexie. You know, I don't think your girlfriend appreciates the gravity of the situation. She loses that case, she could lose the kids. That won't happen. Never say won't. We live in a world of wills. Wills and wonders, that's what I'm trying to teach my children. And they are my children too. Something she seems to forget. Okay, so I made some mistakes, but I learned from it, right? Hey, I'm sober. Look. No needle marks. Got the fucking Alaskan pipeline running through these veins. And all because of those two little glow sticks of love in the next room. My heart beats for those two kids. So if you or that skinny bitch try to screw with what's mine, I swear to God, I don't care who I have to hurt. Paul, you've been a problem. It's time for you to go away. A shoe? You wanted to see me about a shoe? Oh. 
Okay. So what do we do with it? Paul kept insisting to me that you knocked him over the head, dragged him to his motel, and shot him up with drugs. Sounds like one of his stories, huh? He asked me to look in the yard for his shoe. Finally, I did. Maybe. No, let me finish, Dexter. I didn't have a lot to hope for until I met you. You gave me something to believe in when I didn't even believe in myself. And maybe I was, maybe I was so desperate that I looked the other way. Paul begged me to help him. And what did I do? I hung up on him. And he was so upset, he got into a prison fight, and he was beaten to death with a pipe. That's not your fault. Part of it is. Part of me believes that with all of Paul's flaws, he paid the price for my dreams. Did you attack him, Dexter? I'd understand if you did, he attacked me. I hit Paul to protect you and the kids. It's totally an act of impulse. Okay. Okay. Where did you get the drugs? Stolen from the evidence locker. Wait. Wait. Wait, I mean... First you tell me that you acted on impulse. And then you tell me that you stole the drugs from your police station. I mean, what, what are you trying to say? That you planned on acting on impulse? <laughs> it's all kind of jumbled now. How did you know how to cook the heroin? How did you know what dose to give a big guy like Paul? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why didn't I see this? <laughs> but they were your drugs. Now it makes sense. That's where you disappear to at all hours of the night, like Clark fucking Kent. Look, if there is anything left between us, you will answer me this one question, and you will tell me the truth. Are you an addict? Yes, I have an addiction. <sighs> Dexter. That's good. That's the first step. Admitting you have a problem. We'll get you into a program. We'll get you the help you need. And I will be there for you. I'm sorry to wake you up, but I had to let you know that you were right. About what? The program. It's, it's good. It's really good. I am always so in my head. But this, it was good. 
<laughs> In fact, it's already helped me a lot. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Where's my sponsor? Really, where? The guy in the blue shirt? No, next to him, Lila. I love Martha Stewart. Got her mum. She's got quite the rod up her ass, doesn't she? By the way, I am such a twat. I can't believe I almost slipped up about your mum. Mind you, it could have been worse. Could have spilled the beans about our road trip. That would have been a bloody Don't dark. you dare. Can you imagine Mita's face if I told her that you and I had spent the night together in a hotel? Anyway. Uh, you and Lila stayed in a hotel together. We had adjoining rooms. Adjoining rooms. God, I am such an idiot. I can't believe I defended you to my mother while you were off sleeping with another woman. We don't wait. I thought you were different than Paul, but you're the same. You know Actually, you're worse. You made me trust you. Rita, please, will you just Look, let me... I've had it. I mean, I've been patient and understanding, but there's only so much I can take. I mean, you're a liar and a cheat, and I am through. It's over, Dexter. I'm sorry. All right. I feel such regret, which is rare for me. I mean, now that I don't mess up, I do. Just never so stupendously. I had you and them. I had us. So much to have. And just to demolish it, I honestly thought I was smarter than that. Rude awakening. Lila is one of the biggest mistakes in my life. It means a lot to me, Dexter. It doesn't change the fact you slept with another woman. I don't expect you to. I just wanted to say it. I heard the news. It's everywhere. Sergeant Dokes is the Bay Harbor butcher. <laughs> That's what they're saying. I was worried about you, Dexter. Are you okay? Why is the FBI guarding your building? Well, you know the federal government. Any excuse to spend money. Mm. It's cold. Sorry. Well, there's nothing better on a muggy Miami morning than a iced coffee, right? How are the kids? They asked about you again. And we've been pretty confused since we split up. Yeah, me too. Are you still confused? I'm generally confused most of the time. But not about us. Okay. No. It's not good? No, it's um, great to have this clarity. The kids have been through so much lately. And with Paul's death and my mom moving out, I don't want them to feel like they've been abandoned by everyone they love. Does this mean we're dating again? Um, that would be kind of.
kind of fast, wouldn't it? I mean, you're so important to them, and they need you. But I don't know. I mean, maybe we could just hang. That's a sloth. I can do that. <laughs> well, if you're free on Saturday, we're going to spend the day at the beach. And maybe we could all hang together. A family of sloths. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Let me get you some ice. <laughs> I've been selfish, only thinking about what happens to me. But if I were ever revealed as the true Bay Harbor Butcher, Rita and her children would be destroyed. Killing Oscar Prado is a bell I can't unring. I have moved on from my father, but I still need his code, now more than ever. But it has to evolve, become my own. Change is good. Hey, you. Hey, yourself. This music again? Chocolate pudding again? Oh, shit. What? I've done this before. What do you mean? I'm pregnant. Could I become real? Hi, Dexter. Dexter? I'm so surprised you didn't call. Is everything all right? Dexter, what is it? My life has always felt like an unanswered question. A string of days and nights waiting for something to happen, but I didn't know what. Rita, we're connected. Wherever I am, I feel you. And the kids. With me. You're what makes me real. I want us to always go out for banana splits and replant the lemon tree that keeps dying. And I never, ever want to miss a pizza night. <laughs> and that's how I know I want to marry you. <laughs> because something as simple as pizza night's a highlight of my week. But not without the kids. Cody, Aster, you guys are my family. And I'm going to hang on to you for dear life. Please, say yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, we will marry you. <laughs> I honor you. I love you. I marry you. to be the very best husband and father that I can be. A completely, utterly honest vow.
Did you say rats? <laughs> I guess I've been spending too much time with the kids. <laughs> Thanks for this. I like taking care of you. I am so sorry. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, I don't either. Why not? It's just, we have this connection. It's not just because we're both lonely. It's no, I'm not lonely. And I have Dexter. The guy who's never home? Just work. One sec. Morgan. Uh, can it wait? I'm kind of a... Okay. Yeah, no, I'll be there. Let me guess, crime scene. Like, Dexter, we have an appointment. I know, but it, it's an emergency. So is this. Why? We're doing better. I'm being all open and... I kissed Elliot. What? Well, actually, uh, he kissed me, mostly. I was waiting to tell you, in therapy. Right, so let's just go to our sessions. No, I told you, I can't. Dexter, please. I... <sighs> Gotta get to work. Hey, Elliot. Dex? Stay the hell away from my wife. Dex. Uh, uh, wow, okay. Uh, I guess I deserve that. Uh, no, no, wait. I know I'm an asshole, but just wait a minute. I got caught up in a moment. Reed is amazing. You think I don't know that? And I'm an idiot. And if I were you, I would want to kill me too. Don't ever touch her again. the baby or something. Hey, you. I have something very important to say. Everything okay? I want my honeymoon with you this weekend. Yeah, it's not really a good time. It's a perfect time. Aster and Cody will be in Disney World. Yeah, with Paul's parents on your arm, remember? Harrison will be with us, but it'll still be romantic. I think it's fantastic. Great. I'll start booking flights to the hotel and... Hey! Gotta go! Astor and Cody, Disney World awaits. They'll be safe there with Mickey, Minnie, and their goofy grandparents. Now for the rest of my family. Oh. <laughs> Wish I could go with you right now. Me too. I just got a few loose ends to tie at work, and I'll see you tonight. Can't wait. <laughs> Me either. Can't wait to be with my family. Can't wait to be done with Arthur Mitchell. a rush to get Harrison organized. I forgot my ID for the plane. So I'm zooming home for it. it. means we'll be on a later puddle jumper, but we'll still be there waiting for you. Oh, and I know you're not into this stuff, but the moon tonight is going to be amazing. So take a moment. You deserve it. We love you. Bye.
born in blood. Both of us. Harry was right. I thought I could change what I am, keep my family safe. But it doesn't matter what I do. What I choose, I'm what's wrong. This is fate. Hope you don't mind I chose that dress. You were wearing it when we first met, so I thought since I won't be at the funeral, so I don't deserve to be. Kids will be fine with Deb. Way better off without me. I think we agree about that. I was never really honest with you. I'm a serial killer, that's what I am. I know I led you to believe I'm a human being, but I'm not. 